Hello, welcome to Inspiration Daily for December 10th, 2021. I'm Gina Greenlee of GinaGreenlee.com and I'm your host. Today's inspiration is Arizona Straight Talk. Almost 30 years ago, I, um, I visited Arizona uh, I've been to Arizona several times, I've been to different parts of Arizona. I've been hiking multiple times and camping in the Grand Canyon, um, Havasupai Reservation. I've hiked Bright Angel Tra Trail, I've hiked down to the Colorado River. Um, I've gone to Sedona for uh, some type of, I don't know, some kind of function, I don't remember now. Um, but I, I've been to Sedona a couple of times and I've been to Flagstaff, which is the jumping off point for the canyon. So I've been to, to, to Arizona a number of times over the course of my lifetime thus far. And uh, topographically, it's, it's beautiful, it's mesmerizing, uh, and, it's, and it's inspiring. Today's inspiration is not Arizona, not the topography of Arizona, spectacular though it may be. Today's inspiration is straight talk from a woman who worked, uh, I don't know if she still does, but who worked at the time um, of one of my visits at the visitor center, at one of the visitor centers. And uh, I forget, I was coming from a neighboring state, <laughs> I don't remember where it was, where you crossed the state line. I know, I know. I'm, I, I don't want to be one of those Americans. I promised myself, I have promised on myself, I'm going to memorize all of the states and what's next to what state because I, I don't know that. I know kind of regionally where I've lived, but um, that's one of my goals. So anyway, I was crossing into the state. And I'm, I'm getting ready to go into the Visitor Bureau, uh, one, just to check it out, and two, probably to use a bathroom. And there's a sign, there's a handwritten uh, sign on the door. It's a white piece of paper. It's kind of like a, 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 a sheath of loose leaf paper. And written on it was, you know, a nice handwriting, not in scrawl. I mean, there's nothing, nothing crazy here. The state of Arizona does not recognize daylight savings time, except on Native American reservations. So now this is 30 years ago, um, almost 30 years ago. At the time I was living in Connecticut, and so I was in my early 30s. I was, um, yeah, I was traveling, you know, from Connecticut, and um, I had grown up in, in New York. So I had always lived in states uh, where. Uh, that recognized daylight savings time. You know, we were always, you know, jumping ahead and falling back. That's how you remember which way to, to set, uh, reset your clocks in the fall and in the spring. So, and at this time, while I actually had a, a computer and the internet did exist, um, I, at home, I didn't have an internet-ready computer. I had it at the job, and you know, I had this whole idea of you know, if you want to know something, Google it. That that was new for me, you know. So when I saw this sign, and because I'm a curious person, um, it stopped me, and I was like, because I didn't realize that that was an option. <laughs> I thought everybody in the United States recognized daylight savings time. And I, I had always um, adjusted the clocks, you know, 
for decades and I never questioned why. And I, you know, and now that I'm saying it out loud, it's like, thank God for Google. You know, I mean, think, you know, you, you got to question stuff. Just a, <laughs> so I was like, huh. And the person I was traveling with, I don't know, he was off doing whatever he was doing. And I walk into the visitor's bureau and I say to the woman behind the counter, I say, hi, um, how come the state of Arizona, I said, I'm from Hartford, Connecticut, and you know, we're, you know, we're driving through, you know, we're on our way to where we're on our way to. And I said, how come the state of Arizona doesn't recognize daylight savings time? And she looked me dead in my face. And without smiling, she said, because we don't feel like it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it was... <laughs> At the time, so today's inspiration is Arizona Straight Talk, baby. At the time, I was taken aback. I was sort of part taken aback and part somewhat um, tickled the way I am now. Although I'm far, I'm far more in in the tickled zone than I am taken aback. But at the time, I was taken aback because this is a visitors bureau. You're at the state line. You're you're for many people going to be the first introduction to that state so you know i'm thinking gee she she could have been um she could have been a little more explanatory <laughs> her response you know perhaps a tad more welcoming but i wasn't offended if anything it uh, I was pleasantly surprised because I think of my native New York, right? I'm, I'm from Manhattan. I think of, you know, New Yorkers are, are just, we have a reputation for being, you know, blunt and in your face, which is accurate. And so I didn't, I wasn't, I would expect such a response from the east coast yeah because i'm because that's kind of the culture it is you know particularly in the urban areas <laughs> wasn't expecting that in the middle of the desert the state line and i just said oh and then i think i asked her where the restroom was but you know she 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 didn't wasn't interested in explaining further and maybe she didn't maybe she didn't i don't know but I remember saying to my travel companion, um, I don't even remember if I said that. I mean, this was literally decades ago. I don't remember if I said anything to my travel companion, but here's what I said to myself. I said, I'm going to look this up. And I did. And I will put what I discovered, and some of you may already know this because you, you know, you know, there's there's so many bodies of knowledge. I, I, know, I, I know I can't know everything um and so some of you may know sort of the the origins of daylight savings time and why there uh each year there seems to be a growing debate over whether or not we still need to do this so um so i did look up why arizona and it in part, it, it is kind of like because they just don't feel like it. But there, there are other reasons for it too, and I'll I'll put that in the transcript. But I love that woman's response. Actually, today I love it more than I did um, twenty some odd years ago. It is so gangsta, you know. It's just so because we don't feel like it. And and sometimes when people ask me questions, and people ask me questions all the time. Like, you know, because I ride a motorcycle and, and I think I get it because, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't live a traditional lifestyle. And so people are like curious about that. <laughs> okay. So, and, and, but I also recognize that I don't always have to answer those questions. You know, sometimes I want to say to somebody, you got a warrant? No. Well, then I'm not answering any questions. <laughs> or I want to say, people say, can I ask you a question? Google. 
That's what Google's for. Just because I don't, I, I'm not trying to answer questions all day from random strangers. So anyway, Arizona Straight Talk. That woman, um, she inspires me to remember that I don't have to answer everything just because somebody asked me something i get to choose and um and she gives me uh, she makes me laugh she makes me laugh decades later <laughs>